Hi folks, I just wanted to run through a radial menu setup that I've just finished putting together. Uh, the point of it is to just expose all of my plugins so that I can easily access them. Uh, so I can have a track selected and, uh, and just add an EQ like this. It's just like three or four clicks as opposed to the usual method of going in, uh, typing in something and then sort of like double clicking one of these guys. It's a little bit more faff. Um, but also an added benefit is the fact that we have a bunch of plugins exposed here or like that are visible that I wouldn't necessarily think to use mainly because I'm typing in all of my plugins. So uh, just to show you how to set up a like plugin shortcut, um, we can go into here and well, let's go to a reverb and let's say let's add a new button and uh, let's say reverb. Uh, like so we want to create an action to open this up on the currently selected track so the way that you do that is you can go into here and type in reverb and right click on the uh, on the effect and then we create a shortcut we can ignore this because we're not assigning a key to it um, but then we can go into our actions list and we go reverb now we've got an action that we can actually assign here. So you can right click on that action and go copy select uh, selected action command ID and go in here and we assign to our left click this ID. And now if we come out of here, we can go into our reverb and then go to, oh, I need to have the, I actually need the track selected or focused. Go in there and then voila, we have our reverb plugin just readily available. Um, doing that with all of these plugins is a bit of a faff, but I assure you once you actually get it done, it is uh, very useful and really speeds up your workflow. So let me know what you think and uh, I hope you find it useful.